Okay, I bought this old-fashioned oatmeal from uh, Publix, and it only cost $2.35 for each one of these packages, 18 ounces. And two of these can easily last you uh, a full week, maybe more. Uh, the instructions are pretty simple. You can microwave it, but I don't do that. I do the stove top. It's very simple. One cup of water to a half a cup of oats. That's it. I use filtered water. I got a Brita, and so I'm going to fill that up, filter the water through it, and that's what we're going to use to boil to make our uh, oatmeal. You need a steel pan or something like that, which you're going to fill up with your water. It's pretty simple. A couple cups of water in there, and then we're going to do... Uh, for two cups, we're going to do one cup of oats. So we're going to turn it on high first to get it cooking. As you can see here, it hasn't started to boil yet. we got to wait for the boiling to start. And over here we have our oats, and we're going to dump them right in there when it's ready. Okay, now we got the water boiling at high. We're going to grab our oats. I just pour it in there. I don't even use a measuring cup, but you can. Uh, one cup of water to every half cup of oats. And it starts to cook in there pretty good. we got it back down to low now. And then we're going to stir it as it's cooking to keep it from uh, burning the bottom of the, of the uh, pan. And uh, after five minutes, it should be ready to go. I like to put some fresh fruit in here. I've got organic frozen black cherries. And I'm going to just take a handful and drop them right in there. We're at the end of the five-minute cooking. So these will just thaw out inside of there. And they're really tasty. And they make it nice and sweet so you don't have to add sugar. So you can also put bananas or any other kind of fruit that you like. It's pretty simple. This bag of cherries is not too expensive. It's about six bucks. I got it at Costco. It probably lasts me at least a month. And uh, you can put it in your oatmeal or you can eat them just plain. They're delicious just by themselves. So we mix them in good and get all the hot oatmeal on top of them. And that thaws them out. You don't really have to cook them. They just go right back to their natural state and they're just delicious. As you can see, I didn't use very much and it makes a lot. And when you put the fruit in there, it even adds more to it. So it even lasts longer. This here will probably last me two or three days. All right, let's dish these babies out. Ooh, I like to get a lot of the cherries in there and uh, fill up my bowl as far as I can. And I might add, it's also gluten-free because it's oats. And as you can see, I still have a lot left for tomorrow. And I'll save that put it in a bowl and put it in the refrigerator. It tastes fantastic cold, by the way. It's kind of like uh, having cherry pie the next day. I also will sometimes uh, grind up some uh, flax seed and put it on there, which uh, makes it taste delicious. And it's super healthy for you. It's good for your heart with lots of good omega-3 fats, which your body needs. And uh, I also like to put uh, a little bit of cinnamon on there. That also is good for your cardiovascular system because it helps to rid your bloodstream of excess sugars, from what I understand. I could be wrong. Now, if you've always enjoyed uh, cream or milk on your oatmeal, I recommend using an almond milk, a cashew milk, or an oat milk uh, and to give it that delicious, unique uh, feeling of uh, your traditional old-time oatmeal from your youth. And needless to say, Baby loves oatmeal also. Look at her. She's just staring at me, waiting to get to that bowl. I always let her have a little bit at the end. Oatmeal is loaded with protein, and the dogs love it. So this awesome meal costs you nothing to cook, and it's organic, and you have fresh fruits in it. It's fantastic. Keeping it vegan. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos on vegan food.